Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use my NASCAR lineup builder. So here's all the tool. You There's instructions on this instructions tab, obviously, in case you forget. Um, you're going to work mainly off the multi lineups tab. First thing you want to do is enter in your, your login and, and your password. If you don't have it yet, you, it'll come to you within 24 hours or you can uh, email me. Um, you can press refresh logins the first time you use it. You won't have to do that anymore. And just kind of an overview of what the sheet is. Here's all the player, the driver information. It's going to give you your FanDuel DraftKings info. It's give you your odds. Here's your usage. You can, where you can lock players. And here's the different statistics. The first thing you want to do is click refresh. What that's going to do is refresh the week's uh, driver information. It'll take 30 seconds to a minute to upload the, all of this. You'll only have to do that the first time. And you can have all the players here, all the drivers here. And on this slate, it looks like we got 40, it goes to line 45. It's got all the salaries and so on here. And it's got the odds, which helps in making the lineups. So now what you can do is run lineups based on projections or run lineups based on usage so right here are the oh so here right here are the um here are the, the projections we got our projections right here our fanduel projections or your projections which you can upload um, I'll quickly show ahead upload that you go to your projections here you're just gonna copy and paste or type the player's name in with the projection and as long as it doesn't say there's a spelling error if there's a spelling error you, you're gonna have to adjust the player name click add your projections to the stats tab let's say say out just to give you a quick example I've got these players here see there's no spelling error here's their projections if there happen to be a spell and error, like say there's no dot in junior, it'll say spell and error. Then you just have to go in here and fix it. When you're ready, you're just go click add projections to the stat tab and see it added these projections. So now when you're ready to run lineups based on projections, you can choose which site, DraftKings or FanDuel. I'm going to run on DraftKings. Our projections, your projections, or the average. Like see here's just their average points per game. And how many lineups do you want to run on? 150, 25, 75, or 10? So say I'm going to run 150 lineups. Or well, let's just run, say, 25 lineups on our projections for DraftKings. I'm going to qu qu quickly uh, press Run Lineups Based on Projections. Now we just got to scroll up. And here's all our lineups. So we got them right here. So you can go to the lineups tab also, and it'll show you show you these lineups. So even though they got the same value, that there's different players in there. Like see, Timmy Hill's in this one, but he's not in the other lineup. So that um, here's all, all the lineups that you have. And then if you can go back here, it'll tell you actual usage. Like you used Kyle Busch in 100%. Um, and so on. If you don't like it, if you don't like what they are, just go, go back in here and say, oh, 44%, that's a little high. I think this projection, let's drop it down to say 41 here. Now, hopefully that will reduce this this uh, percentage. Or maybe here, 100%, because it's such a high projection here. If we put it down to say 65, it would probably reduce this actual usage. And then you just run it again, and it'll adjust it. If you want to lock a player in to make sure that they're they're in all your lineups, you're just going to put an X right in this lock tab. And besides running it off of projections, you can also run it off of usage or exposure. So you can go in here and put in the exposure. Like say you want 30% with Harvick in there. You want 20% with Truex. 20% uh, Larson and all the way down 40% here you just have to make sure you have a, a good range of 
of people of high price low price and so on I'm just putting in random numbers here pretty much but you would obviously put a little more thought into it this is just to show you how the tool works so I made sure so I've got quite a few bit of people in here and let's finish off with him so we got all these people in here it tells you what your total usage is is 297 so basically Harvix and you put them in uh, 30 and all this comes up to 297 obviously I mean you want to you're having you're running you want to have six people so it, it should roughly come out to 600 but it'll prorate it all anyway so now we're going to run 25 lineups based on our projections for DraftKings and click run lineups based on usage and it's going to do the same thing that it did for the other one but it's just going to run it based on your estimated exposures so now we've got the new lineups here Here's all the lineups. And we'll look and see Harvick showed up in 60% of the lineups, which you would expect because if we put them in 30%, we pick 30%, but only 297 is our total. Basically, we want it to come out to 600, so we only put half. So we'd expect him to come up in 60% of your lineups if we prorate it. And none of, they're not going to come out always, always exact, especially if you're only running 25 lineups. If we change this to 150 and rerun it, it would come out probably a little bit closer to your actual usage because there's just more, um, just more lineups, obviously. So now we go back to multi lineups, and it comes out comes out a lot closer. And then you can also adjust this too and say, like. Here, oh, 49% of the lineups. I really don't want Elliot in that many. Let's drop this down to 10, and let's rerun it. And let's see if it reduces Elliot down from 49%. It, and we'll go back to multi lineups, and it did. So we'll drop it down to 29%, and obviously it'll up other people then to, to come out to get 150 lineups so once you're all set i mean you're gonna put a little more thought into it when you're when you're doing these so you may have more drivers may have less but the percentages will come out pretty good especially if you put this close to 600 then these numbers will come out a lot closer to your usage when you're all set you can click export to csv a csv file will be created and you can upload that to um DraftKings or to FanDuel. So that's the whole tool. I hope you um, enjoyed it. And let me know if you have questions. Thanks.